he'll, he'll early, if, if you wake up early enough, you could actually see this. There's a whole bunch of male uh, prairie chickens that stand in a circle with one female chicken in the center of the circle. And what they'll do is they all show off for that one female chicken. And they do funny movements like where they move like this. And then they might move their heads. They, they, and they move their shoulders. They kind of move on one leg. And they all take turns showing off. And then at the end of the performance, and this is real prairie chickens. Um, at the end of the performance, the female chicken, what do you think she does? She has a circle of male chickens around her. They're all performing for her. And at the end of it, what do you think she does? She chooses one. She chooses one mate. So she actually will look at all of them, and then she advances forward, and then she grabs the, her mate, and together they'll just go, like they'll just go off on their own, and the, other, the others are all kind of just left. And today we have real competitions where men will get dressed like this, and they all compete, and they have really smooth moves. They move to the beat of the drum. They change the way they move. They, they're performers. They really perform for you. Now, this young man, in 2010, he went to the World Chicken Dance Championships, and he actually won in his category. So he had the title of World Chicken Dance Champion in 2010. And so it happens in June, on June 21st, at Blackfoot Crossing which is um, 100 kilometers east of Calgary, right where Treaty 7 happened. So if you're interested in attending, you'll see the best chicken dancers come out and compete for prize money. So once again, the colors are representative of the family. If you'll notice, the same colors keep coming up. That's because this is my family. These are my boys. So these, fa these colors keep on, the same colors are, even though they have different colors, uh, main colors, the fire colors are always there. They will always be in, in, in there somewhere. Um, he has a different headpiece. It's very colorful because he's a, very, he's a performer. And these two tall feathers are the ones like showing the chicken, the way that he, his headpiece is. He has these pieces here on the side to indicate him, his movements when he moves. And then he has a bustle of eagle feathers. And this was given to him at a powwow by a, a, a man by the last name of Eagle Speaker. Gave him this fossil here. Um, he also has a fox here. Um, and it's just like the, the trickster, trickster in the Blackfoot culture. Um, he has a mirror to show that he's showing off. So sometimes he'll even look at himself. Or he might show you to show, like for you to show off. And so he's going to do a bunch of different movements. So this, this boy's name is Inniskim, or Sage. So we'll get Sage to perform.